Hi guys, this is Rick from Rare Recordings, and today we're going to show you some inexpensive devices and possibilities to record your audio. Um, this one is my audio recorder. It's called the Zoom H1, um, and it's my go-to device to do these kinds of things. Um, it's a very small device. It has a SD card slot with which you can record. It has also a line input, with, which means that you can use a mono or stereo recording input or an external microphone to record on the SD card. And it also has a headphone out, which means that you don't have to record on the SD card. You can also go with the cable to a computer or another device to record it on there. Say your camera, for instance. Um, on the back, it has a, a hole for a standard um, camera tripod or stuff like that. Um, I myself, I have made a little adapter with a hot shoe for on the camera where you put the flash so I can screw it on there and put it on the camera. Then I use the headphone out to connect to my headphones um, and use external. Uh, no, I'm saying it wrong. That's a possibility. Um, what I do is I use the headphone out and go to the input of my microphone in on my camera so I can sync them up and then I have the best camera sound. You can also use it just to record on the card and then here use your headphone out so you can hear the audio and then sync them up later in uh, Adobe Premiere or something else which you use. Um, I will show you now how to use this one. I will also do an audio test on this one. Um, first, for accessory wise, um, here in Holland you have these, um, it's not like a Poundland or a 99p store, but it's comparable. And I think every country has them. Here it is, it's called the Action. And they have like this little tripod thingy with uh, a holder for your phone. And this is like three euros or something. So that's like two and a half pounds. Um, it's like three dollars. And what you can do is you screw the phone thingy off. If you don't use the phone thingy, of course. Put this one off. And then it's the same screw type. You just screw this one on. Like this. Sack. Then you can point it any which way you want. Okay. Well, just turn this a bit. Maybe it stays in place. It does. It's unbelievable. Okay. Well, that's one example how to use it. Okay. Well, um, it runs on one AA battery. It's just here. Um, you have an SD card slot on the side. Normally this is covered up by a lid, but mine is like uh, yeah, a few years old and well, it's been through rough times. So I put in a micro SD slot, uh, card, which you can buy reasonably cheap. Um, the good thing about this one is it can record WAV and MP3. And the wave it can record up to 69 kilobytes a sec, uh, 69 kilohertz at 24 bits, which is exceptional high quality. Uh, most of the time, is you don't use it, you don't need it. Um, me myself, unless I'm in the studio, I actually use this on an album to record the overheads for the drums when I didn't have dedicated overhead microphones yet, and it works a charm. You just put it like this up there. It has um, a dedicated level with 100 steps. So you can uh, choose your input level. You can go with the level set low. You can go as close if you as you want to to the microphone and scream from the top of your lungs and it will not distort. It's very good as coming to that. Um, it has a low cut filter. What does that do? Um, if you got low tones, 
it uh, it filters out like rumble. If you hold it like this, it will go like you get all the strange sounds and noises. If you put the low cut on, that's less. I do say you might not want to hold it a lot. Okay, then you have the outer level, and that's like it makes everything louder and less loud. I normally don't use it, I do that with compression in after. You just have to try that out. I I, I keep it off. And the last one is you go from wave to mp3. Uh, the nice thing is this one records an mp3 and if it does record an mp3 with a high byte rate you still um, have lots of time for it to record so you can actually uh, it runs on one battery for more than 10 hours or about 10 hours let's keep that and Actually, you have enough room on your card most of the time that it also can run for 10 hours straight. Okay, I'll put it on. This little button here, you have to hold it down. And then it says, um, hi. And then it's going to read the card. And I've got a 32 gigs card in it, which it can read. But it takes a little while. See here the indicator going. Okay, and now it's on. Do you see in MP3 format, you see my voice going while I'm talking? In MP3 format, I can record 85 hours non-stop at 320 kilobytes a second. If I take the switch and I go to WAVE, let's see here, you will see I can record 11 hours in the setting 48 kilobit, uh, 48 8 kilohertz at 24 bit which is actually still pretty high and i can record 11 hours almost 12 hours straight okay i'll put this down now and we will go start with the second thing okay the second option and the second option of course is also the cheapest option and that is to use uh, an old Android or Windows or I Apple phone, an iPhone to use a, a recording app to record your audio, which is actually pretty good audio. This is my old trusty uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, which uh, the Wi-Fi isn't totally dead, but the GPS was crapping out of me, so I had to buy a new one. Um, so most of the time now I use my Galaxy S7 Edge, um, but this one also does the trick for regarding sound recorder. I just have to look. Yes, I have one. Here it is. Okay, it's in Dutch because actually I'm a Dutch person. Okay, so what you do then is you just hook up your headphone jack, your microphone, you know, the... the, the the headset you get, that's the word I'm looking for. The headset you get with your um, uh, with your telephone and hook that up and then record it like that. Um, I will make different examples later on uh, to let you hear the difference, differences how they sound. Okay, that was option two. Option three, of course, is the possibility to uh, recorded with my other phone um, and then there's actually the last option that costs a little bit of money say you have a microphone at home a vocal microphone or an instrument microphone that doesn't need battery or phantom power you can actually buy one of these um, I've shown this in another piece of um, information about uh, the software for ghost book enhancement and what this works like you hook it up to the headphone input and then you can connect um, a microphone through jack channel and here you have headphones out um, i would recommend to get good sound uh, just use your um, headphone your, your your headphone set you get with your phone or um use the microphone of your telephone itself because that will give you some extra static noise 
to do EVPs and stuff and the kind of that. Okay, if you don't want to do EVPs and you just want to have very good sounds, I recommend getting, of course, the Zoom H1, which will I, I will demonstrate also in a moment. Okay. This is a test of the Galaxy S3 without the headset. This is just the built-in microphone. This is a test of the Galaxy S3. This is a test of the S7 Edge without a headset, only the built-in microphone. This is a test of the Galaxy S7 Edge and the headset that came along with it. This is a test of the Zoom H1. So there you have it. I also have to say that everything I did today with narrating and uh, the videos I did, I all recorded them on my Galaxy S7 today um, through this little microphone thingy, um, as you heard it now. So it works exceptionally well. If you hear a sound uh, at the test that sounds a bit like a vacuum cleaner or anything, it's my PC that's standing on the desk. It's really loud and that's what you hear in the background noise. Uh, I actually think that was a good idea because that way you can hear what environmental noise will do to your recordings. Okay, that was it for today. Um, hope to see you next. Please leave something in the comments if you want to add something. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so I get more. Right. Bye.